Set the tone for this game. Deep right field. Harper watches it fly. Harper with a rainmaker and another stare down. Let's turn it into the Bryce Harper game. Did you enjoy staring him down? Yeah, I man, I stared right at him. This rivalry is so spicy. The Phillies a win away from a trip to the National League Championship Series. Welcome to the Loud House, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. This is the 2023 National League Division Series. It's presented by Booking.com, featuring the Braves and the Phillies. The Phillies holding a 2-1 lead in this best of five series. We have arrived at our first elimination game. And with that, we welcome you, everybody. Great to have you with us. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Jeff Francoeur. We'll hear from Matt Weiner in just a moment. This is the last division series left. One more ticket to be punched. Phillies and Braves. The Braves up against elimination. But let's go to the Phillies first, Jeff, because this is a team that is historically good right now. They're four and one in the postseason. And yesterday, six home runs tying a major league record. Yeah, you saw two home runs in two games in Atlanta. They come to this loud house. We can barely <laughs> hear right now. And it's exactly what they did. Nick Cassianos got it started in the third to tie up the game 1-1. You saw Marsh there later in the game. Trey Turner even get on the action. Castellanos with a second one, a long one. And then, of course, really the big blow, this guy, Bryce Harper in the third inning, and then adds another one off Brad Hand. And the Phillies, like you said, six home runs yesterday, and they just went on a barrage. And, of course, Bryce Harper, look at those numbers. They speak for themselves. They got to find a way to keep him off the base. Now those are his postseason numbers against the Atlanta Braves. How much will they pitch to Bryce Harper tonight. All right so the Atlanta Braves their backs up against the wall here three 100 win teams in the major leagues this season two are out Baltimore and the Dodgers and now the Braves are hoping to at least extend this to a game five. They do have their ace Spencer Strider on the mound. Well the Phillies fans in the seven started chanting we want Strider yeah. we want Strider. Well the Braves ace is going to have a chance. All season now, five starts, including the playoffs, he's had good numbers. He's had 46 strikeouts and five walks. They're going to need that high-velocity fastball on the slider down in the zone. And if they can get that, then there's a chance they can send it back to Atlanta for a Max Freed, Zach Wheeler showdown. What a showdown that would be. Strider making his third postseason start. They have all come against the Phillies. He was good in game one, seven innings, just one earned run allowed he went with just the two walks in the 8Ks. It is a rematch of game one because Ranger Suarez will get the ball. He was excellent in a short start. It was a bullpen game. Seven pitches in that one. Now we're ready to roll here. Phillies, Braves, elimination day, 2-1. First pitch is coming up in just a moment. I'm Matt Weiner here with Braves manager Brian Snitker. And Snit, it's the wrong kind of deja vu for you guys here tonight. What's it going to take to turn this series around? Well, I think we got to start scoring some runs. I mean, we bats have been kind of silent for the first three games. If Spencer's out there and can do what he can do, I think our offense is, um, has to has to do its part. We should be in good shape. Bryce Harper now has an OPS approaching 1,700 in postseason games against you guys. How inclined are you to pitch to him tonight? Well, it's just going to depend on the situation. I mean, you know what? If you, if you get a chance to not pitch to him, we probably won't. Snit, thanks for taking the time. Good luck. Thank you. Well, let's send it upstairs. Brian Anderson and Jeff Francoeur with the call of game four. All right. Thank you, Matt Weiner, and our thanks to Brian Snitker. A team is a reflection of the manager, and the manager is cool and confident, but he knows major urgency tonight. As you see his lineup, Acuna, Albies, Riley in the middle. It's Olsen, Ozuna, and Murphy, the Gold Glover, Pilar, Arcia, and Harris. This was not the game one lineup that faced Ranger Suarez. He's gone back to his more traditional lineup as Brian Snitker. Ranger Suarez. While left-handers struggled all season against the Braves, Suarez one of those guys who has had great effectiveness against Atlanta. Well, and I'll tell you what, B.A., his curveball really was a pitch that gave these Braves hitters trouble. Rob Thompson saying, 
I don't know. I might let him go a little bit longer, depending how it is. But we got to believe it's a lot like game one. Him to the bullpen. And, of course, getting the start behind the plate, the gold glover, JT Real Muto, Alec Baum at third, Trey Turner, Bryson Stott, and, of course, Bryce Harper at first base. And in the outfield, going around the corner, Brandon Marsh in left field, Johan Rojas gets the start in center field. And with two home runs last night, Nick Cassianos in right field. Ronald Acuna steps in. We are just about ready for game four of this best of five series in the Phillies can punch their ticket to the National League Championship Series with a win tonight. Braves are hoping to survive and force a game five. David Rackley, home plate umpire, says play ball. And the first pitch is in there, and away we go in game four.